What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Killer Performances. Today, we have the one and only Tony Royster Jr. Now, I actually am lucky enough to have met Tony way back in 1995 in Vancouver at Music West. Now, I was with my drum teacher doing a booth, and I can't remember the name of the of the entity that was had paid for the booth and, and had us there. Um, I was handing out thing, handing out flyers and drummers, dr I think drummers collective, maybe, maybe was that something like that? It was always, there was always an advert in modern drummer, like through the nineties the and eighties and nineties. I remember seeing, and I didn't know exactly what it was, but then my drum teacher says, Hey, I'm part of this. And you want to come? And I'm like, yeah, of course I want to come. I, I just come back from Kenya couple months prior I was there for four months so I was you know not really working that much at the time so I said yeah sure so we get there who was all there I got to meet Rod Morgenstein I got to meet John Robinson I got to meet Alex Acuna I got to meet David Garibaldi I got to meet Frank Gambali I got to meet and hang out quite a bit with uh, Dom Famulero really really great guy sweet guy um Jeff Salem he was a guy, I think he was playing with Black and Blue or, I don't know, one of these sort of glam metal. Like he was a drum, col he wrote a column for Canadian musician, Jeff Salem. He has, if you've ever met him, ask him about the Lee Majors story. I think it was about something in Lee Majors, Myrtle Beach at a restaurant. That's all I'm going to say. And this kid, Tony Royster Jr. was there. At the time, Tony was only 10 years old. And so me, I had just, not just, but I mean, I had just done two years of, of college, taking the jazz program. And then as I was back home in Canada, I was practicing a lot. So when I had gone to this, uh, this thing that there was all sorts of booths all over, like you can go and there's the Roland booth and there's the Yamaha booth. I'm assuming it's like Nam's little ch child, because I would assume Nam is like mega, mega, mega. This was... It was okay. Like looking back, it was I, I had a great time. But I mean, you can walk through the walk through the the place in like ten minutes and see everything pretty much. But uh, so there was drums there. You could play electronic kit side by side, which actually I ended up doing with Tony. I ended up meeting this kid. I think I seen him perform the one time I seen him perform. He was it was an indoor performance and it was an outdoor performance. And then I got to uh, befriended his parents. Now, his father, I believe, was in the Army. I think at the time they were in, living in Knoxville, maybe? And he was a guitar player. I forget what he did in the Army, but uh, him and his parents, really, really good people. Nice, friendly, just just nice people. And, uh, yeah, so got to hang out with Tony. And, well, you know, he's a kid. He's a killer drummer, but I'm not really hanging out with him. I was kind of hanging out with those guys as a group. And then we would go on the drum set, and then I would play my drum set, and he would play his drum set. And at the time, when he was 12, 10 years old, I could hold my own with him. He couldn't do more than I could do. You know, I'm I'm in like 22 years old at the time, and he's 10, and I'm thinking I'm, <laughs> I think I'm on shit because he can't do more than me. Um, fast forward to when I saw his there was a concert he did when he was 12 and he's playing with big toms he was in a white shirt i believe i think it was a modern drummer show and he's 12 and the amount he improved in two years blew my mind this kid didn't stop improving either i will do i'll, I'll do a video on the, the person i'm going to mention who is jacob arman now jacob i remember seeing on that's incredible back when i was in 80, probably 1987, 88, somewhere around there. And there was a That's Incredible episode with Jacob Arman. And he played live this big Remo kit, huge, huge power toms, and he's playing this jazz stuff. He's one of the only players I, I see playing when his china is flipped over so that the sharp edge is up. I never understood that. Um, he actually continue to improve i've watched some of his clips and he is a, a great drummer as well i don't think he's at the same level at tony royster jr is but sometimes you get these child prodigies and then they do this and then they kind of 
peak and then they don't really get much better. Where Tony, to me, he's one of the, to me, he's one of the best drummers in the world, like top three. And I don't know who he's, in, who he's in that, in that company with, but to, to me, what he can play and how well he can play it, how fast he is. Um, he's played with uh, Katy Perry. Uh, he's, a, he's just an awesome, awesome drummer. So, um, yeah, I got to, uh, I got to hang. I, I really wish I was looking through my scan photos, the photo of me and Tony, I got, I'm flexing like this, wearing my thing and he's flexing like this. We're being idiots cause we're drummers, right? Um, I had long hair at the time wearing my Tusker log logger t-shirt and, uh, I have it somewhere. If I can find it before I post this video or in the process, I'll, I'll scan it and, or I'll, I'll put it on the, on the thing, but, uh. He was a really, really cute kid, nice kid, a uh, great player. Um, and to see what he's turned into, I couldn't be happier for him. I mean, the kid is a freak. Uh, the so the performance I've got on here is called CTSO, uh, kind of like what's his name, uh, Chris Coleman with Soar. So he's got S CTSO. It's it's a solo. He's not playing to a track, I don't believe. But the reason I chose this performance was because. Um, uh, Damien Schmidt was doing that a bit, but the am amount of crossovers, full extension crossovers. Another, and there's another drummer I'm going to post as well. His name is Matt McGuire, Australian guy. He does covers, but the crossovers and the distance and the accuracy and the timing is just, it, just to even do that with your arms, just doing that with your arms, let alone hitting the drums accurately, hitting them on time, hitting them with the, with the precise velocity unbelievable so here's tony royster jr doing ctso from i think it was maybe an old nam show or it's from a few years ago but uh, check it out and enjoy so until next time peace